Yo, what is up guys, Boris here, and I'm coming to you guys once again with another Colosseum video. This time we're going to be tackling Conjuro's ca uh, Chaos levels 1 through 5. And a quick reminder that this is once again a 50 stamina, so Conjuro will be pretty difficult just like Kinemon was. But he's going to be a really good unit, I'll talk about him in a little bit. But overall, as you can see, we're going to start off facing Momonga. Now, right off the bat, it's kind of weird, but you're going to be preemptively poisoned on the first turn of the dungeon. So you might want to bring Mancherry like I did, or someone who removes poison, and try to get that uh, taken care of, because it does a lot of damage over the couple turns. Um, and on top of that, you're going to get a 30% uh, you know, uh, HP cut as soon as you enter the, the, the boss room. And it's going to change your orbs uh, every once in a while, but overall, a pretty straightforward... Uh, dungeon don't get him below 20% or he will do his uh, you know powerful move and he only has about 2 million so nothing too crazy now next up we have uh, Magellan who's actually pretty interesting I, I just made a video you know talking about the top story mode character so it's really cool to see him here and again Magellan will also uh, poison for a good amount so you definitely want to get rid of that and on top of that it gets an, uh, all your characters numb for three turns so or par paralyzed whatever you guys want to call it um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do Usopp plus Mancherry once again. Guys, Mancherry is a Colosseum All-Star. I used her in a bunch of previous Colosseums. Uh, she is really good. So definitely, you know, someone that you want to keep in mind. Definitely try to get her. And if you do, try to get her skilled up. Right now you can farm her sockets if you even want to go that far. Um, but yeah, try to take out the guys in the back and use the ship plus Enel. Does pretty much just enough damage to take him out since they have right above like uh, you know around 60k uh, yeah 60k HP and then Magellan himself only has 4 million well, I say only but the double blue team double Marco team that's easy peasy nothing too crazy we've seen far worse now one of my rules of thumb is that I want to only try to use um, sh double Shiliu on one level out of the five so this time I decided to pick Jabra seems pretty e easy to do double Shiliu in fact since it's only one character you can in theory just use a friend Shiliu to take him out and it shouldn't be too bad um, the reason I did is because he just seems like a really annoying character to fight because he has a high defense and barriers so anytime that sort of stuff happens I'd rather just shield you that um, pretty easy again you can use a friend captain now next up we have uh, stage 4 and this is gonna be Moria now Moria is pretty interesting because uh, when you kill him he's going to revive with a, about a million HP and he's gonna deal a massive amount of damage to you so you're going to want to bring someone like Mirage Tempo Nami, or uh, as you see here, Kimono Nami. You can bring Perona, some sort of damage reducer that you want to use on the turn that you're going to kill him. Um, otherwise, you will probably die unless you have a lot of HP, which in that case you'll be fine. But in this case, I think you're talking about about 25,000 that he deals, somewhere around there. So, as you see here, I brought a Rayleigh team, which again, I don't really get to use Rayleigh too often. So, I'm actually surprised the amount of legends I ended up using yesterday on stream to complete all these uh, Colosseums because we, I pretty much use, I think, every legend over the course of the three new Chaos ones. And uh, I brought Monet because she's awesome. You know, delays an extra turn. You could probably just bring Golden Pound, to be honest. But yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. Also, keep in mind that he does a 20% health cut, so that's actually kind of important as well. Now, you see here, I go ahead and use uh, Mirage Tempo, the or Kimono Nami, the turn that I'm going to um, attack him. Uh, and kill him uh, so that uh, you know I don't die <laughs> and uh, we see here attack attack and I think yeah I do kill him right yeah so I kill him and you see here he's gonna revive uh, and he's going to attack me now one thing I didn't notice was that he has a uh, combo hit barrier that uh, is almost over I thought the the barrier was permanent so you see me here I'm gonna use both of my specials and my sunny ghost special um, so I just wasted about 150,000 damage for no reason but um, hold on to it because if you did this strategy, you should um, be able to use those on the last turn because his barrier will be gone by then. And that's a lot of damage, you know, considering that he has about a million HP when he revives. So, uh, you know, I'm cutting it close here, but again, you should be fine. Save your specials uh, and just hit your perfects. And as long as you have a couple of yellow characters on the team, you'll be good. These Colosseums are definitely much tougher, man. And that's why I had to bring a lot of different legends, uh, a lot of legends. Uh, because they just they seem really tough, but again, this one is probably clearable with some crazy stuff But yeah, that is stage 4 and now on to stage 5 Just like Kitamon, it's 50 stamina, 3 bosses, you got a first boss, second boss, and the, the final boss The first boss, just like in Kitamon, is one of the uh, first 3, it's randomized 
In my opinion, this is the toughest one. Um, you got Magellan. Now, you can bring someone like Mancherry, but as you'll notice, I'm using Cavendish. That's right, Cavendish. So, uh, I decided to go with Strong Chopper over Mancherry, but Mancherry is probably just as good. Um, and the key to this, guys, is to bring Blackbeard, because Blackbeard is going to be really important uh, for a lot of stages, including if you get Jabra on this stage as one of the three random ones. That's going to help out a lot. Um, now, these guys, you know, as long as you have your sockets, they won't really do much to you. And overall, Magellan just dies to a couple of blue orbs. I think if you have two blue orbs, as you see here, I can, uh, it's going to be an easy um, one shot. And then uh, you're good to go. I think the other, yeah, the other ones are you can get a Mamanga, and, which is pretty straightforward. He's pretty easy. And um, Jabra, who, you know, Blackbeard really helps out there. Now, again, this team has a lot of legends. It's a 50 stamina. It's, not, it's really difficult. Um, there's so much going on. So definitely, you know, that's, keep that in mind. And I just did decide to bring um, Diamante as my impact unit for stall. So I would go ahead and just use Diamante here. Um, I end up not using him until the first turn, until the third turn. But uh, let me just go ahead and, and use him here. And the interesting thing about Moria here is that he does the same thing. So you have to keep in mind that <laughs> when you kill him. Now, I didn't bring any sort of like Mirage Tempo or any kind of damage reducer. But I did bring Marco to heal back up to full. So... If you take into account both of the turns from Diamante, it's going to be five total turns to kill him. And um, unfortunately, you're going to see me fail, so I didn't actually kill him in those five turns. Um, ideally, you'd want to uh, have enough HP that you get from Blackbeard to tank uh, the revive hit. But I actually have to waste that HP tanking a normal hit because I didn't kill him in time. Um, so essentially, what I'm trying to say is that you want to go into the final room as much HP as possible, but you really only need a little bit above like 5,500 because that's how much Conjuro will deal. So, uh, spoiler alert, you can kill him, in, we'll kill him in two turns, so it's, I mean, you'll be fine, but if you have more HP, then you just play it a bit safer, you know, so uh, it's just one of those things where your auto kill sockets will be important if you can't kill him in five turns like I, I did, you know, I messed up, so. Uh, thankfully, I do have, I think, 500 heal per turn, so that's going to come into play a little bit later, I'll explain that when he revives. But for now, you know, it's final turn. Go ahead and use uh, Dofi special. You probably bring the green Dofi, I think. You could probably think you'd get away with green Dofi. Um, yeah, because our slasher is Cavendish. You could probably do that if you don't have legend Dofi. But green Dofi, you know, I mean, a blue Dofi, you know, it's nice. Guarantees those orbs. Very consistent. And you see here, we're just going to go in. But I think I mess up on the black beard. Yeah, I hit a green instead of a perfect. Um, so, like I said, he hits us. I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. Um, and now, because we're going to kill him next turn, also keep in mind that he does an HP cut every two turns, just forget to mention that, but now I have to waste my Marco special. But, um, again, as long as I heal back up about like 5,500, uh, you know, before Conjuro hits me, I will be okay. But, again, I sort of mess up here. Um, so what you want to do is, he's going to revive with three turns, so just go ahead and tank the three turns like just go ahead and use up all three turns to heal don't kill him right off the bat like I did here because that put me in a situation where I needed a meat orb to survive so you see here I, I I don't know why I killed him but I needed to take advantage of the auto heal for three turns uh, even two turns if I just would have stalled one more turn I would have been perfectly fine but yeah see now I'm in a position where I need a, um, a meat orb to survive and I got I did get it so that was awesome I did get it, but yeah, uh, <laughs> just like I said, stall, get those auto-kill sockets. Um, even if you get like 300, um, 300 per turn, that's still like 900 you get uh, for the three turns and another 300 here. So, I mean, you should be fine. You, if That's if you have to use your Marco special to tank the hit. Okay, so now I use Cavendish, and this is, man, I gained a lot of respect for Cavendish yesterday over the different uh, Coliseums we did. Especially this one, just look how much damage Cavendish does by himself. Man, that is crazy. And then, of course, we had Blackbeard, too, who did the 30% cut. Um, so, just crazy, man. And then, yeah, Conjure's gonna do his thing. You see here, he has a new buff, where you have to hit him with two of the ma two of that same type of orb before you can actually damage him. So, it's really difficult. This is probably one of the most difficult dungeons in the game. Uh, and it's just random. You know, he can have a yellow one up, and so you have two yellow orbs before you can hit him. It's really difficult unless you bring Blackbeard. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be, you know, have a lot of HP and hope for some good RNG. That's really all there is to it, which is, you know, one of the reasons I don't really like that uh, new buff. But, what's it, guys? Thanks all for watching. Hopefully, this helps. Uh, Conjurer himself is really awesome. Uh, it changes all colored orbs on freedom and impact to matching. Great, but makes uh, other orbs 
bad. So food and tandem will become negative. But still, really awesome. Great special. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace.